Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 31. Now, the Pelishit theme fought against Yashar'el. And the men of Yashar'el fled from before the Pelish team and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Pelish team followed hard Ethapan Shaul and Ethapan his sons. And the Pelish team slew Eth Yahunathan and Eth Avinadav and Eth Malki Shua, Shaul's sons. And the battle went sore against El Shaul, and the archers hit him, and he was sore wounded of the archers. Then said Shaul unto his armor bearer, Draw your sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and thrust me through, and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. Then Shaul took Eth a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Shaul was dead, he fell likewise upon his sword and died with him. So Shaul died, and his three sons, and his armor-bearer, and all his men, that same day together. And when the men of Yashadael that were on the other side of the valley, and they that were on the other side of the Yardan saw that the men of Yashadael fled, and that Shaul and his sons were dead. They forsook Eth the cities and fled, and the Palishtim came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Palishtim came to strip Eth the slain, that they found Eth Shaul and Eth his three sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And they cut off Eth his head, and stripped off Eth his armor, and sent into the land of the Pelish team round about, to publish it in the house of their idols, and among Eth the people. And they put Eth his armor in the house of Ashtaroth, and they fastened Eth his body to the wall of Beit Sha'an. And when the inhabitants of Yevish, rather Yavish Gilad heard of that eth which the Palish team had done to Shaul, all the valiant men arose and went all night and took eth the body of Shaul and eth the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beit Sha'an and came to Yavish and burnt them there. And they took Eth their bones and buried them under a tree at Yevish and fasted seven days.